the Weather Center. I'm joined by Nina Ridge. So, Nina, we're talking about tornadoes. So what makes a high wind or to a, a tornado? What's happening? A tornado. Well, at the moment, we've got a, a big system which is moving across the United States. And on that, it's got a trailing weather front. And what happens with that is you get big thunderstorms being developed and really big thunderstorms called supercells. And around these supercells, we then get tornadoes. And that's what's been ripping across many of these states. We've seen record numbers of tornadoes being reported throughout the day on Friday. Of course, coming on the back of tornadoes throughout the day on Wednesday as well. So it's a pretty serious situation at the moment. Uh, there, there is a part of the United States, and you're the expert. So is it this particular region in the United States that suffers these tornadoes absolutely, every year basically. Absolutely and spring is a classic time for it. We get quite a setup where we've got all of the warm moisture across the Gulf of Mexico so that's all sitting there and at the same time we've got very cold air across parts of Canada and where those two meet you get a lot of energy in the atmosphere you get these big thunderstorms being created and it's around those storms that we've got the perfect conditions for huge tornadoes so here we're seeing a tornado in indiana this is amateur video footage and uh, just some news lines coming out of indiana um, the uh, clark county sheriff's department has said that a town of 1900 people called marysville quote is completely gone so what sort of speeds are we talking about? And do you know what sort of damage it causes to infrastructure? Can it just completely lift a house it into the air and take it miles away? Absolutely leave devastation, a trail of devastation behind it. You can get winds up to 250 miles an hour and they're big, wide storms as well. So it is impressive, the, the devastation that it leaves behind. What do people like you sort of advise people to do? Do you just have to get out of the area? I mean, a lot of people go into their uh, basements, don't yeah. they? But, I mean, obviously, yeah. that part, they're, they're used to it. They're used to it. And the Americans have a very good system of tornado watches. They get these alerts out earlier so people know when these storms are coming towards them. And that's really all you can do is head for cover. When is this likely to end, this whole weather phenomenon? The current one that we've got at the moment, we've still got warnings in force to take them through Friday night into Saturday morning. Come Saturday morning, things should start to improve and the worst of the situation should be over. All right, Nina Ridge, thanks very much indeed. These are quite some pictures of devastation and uh, you'll be keeping us up to date, I'm sure, with all those weather reports. Thanks a lot.